gardening is the most environmentally friendly hobby you could ever have. It's the most environmentally friendly business you can have in Australia. The environmental issues in this country start in people's backyards and people's front gardens. And that's what, that, there's a great message there that we really often don't pick up. Through a, that sort of adversity, you get great things coming out of that. And in, in particular for gardens, what I think it means is that um, we will start to develop a truly Australian sort of look and feel that will be really have a dynamic Australian sense about it. All in all, I probably have five hours a week, if that, to garden, maybe three and I want my garden to look incredible because, you know, people expect you to have a fabulous garden and I love it. And I guess for us, on the weekend we just sort of shut the gate, come out and I'm doing some digging or some weeding. My husband might mow the lawns but the two kids can run around and help us. So we've got little seed boxes for the kids, they help me weed, they've got their own little set of tools. And when you remove that barrier between the interior of the house and the garden, suddenly you live in a way that you could never possibly have imagined before. It's almost a religious experience when you finally get those two working together and once you've done it, man, it's really hard to go back. Gardening is a fantastic thing because it has so many aspects to it that can be beneficial. I mean, from a physical point of view, the mere activity of getting out and doing physical activity, digging, pruning, bending, stretching, all those sort of facets. The other benefits that I see, particularly in this environment, is um, the psychological benefits. It can be quite a healing um, experience for people. Gardens are going to become very sexy, or gardening is going to become a very sexy pastime. I think people are going to uh, get into gardening uh, in the same way that they got into food, you know, 10 years ago. But yeah, I think that the, the image for gardening is definitely changing. People are, um, are seeing that it's a fun thing at any age. You know, they don't have to wait till they retire before they can start growing African violets on their windowsill. You know, they can do things that are hip and, and you know, totally sick. <laughs> I think the best nurseries are the nurseries that make gardening fun, like Tim's with his signs. They're funny, they make you crack a smile and they break the ice and they break that awkward time of where people feel intimidated by being there. And if you can break them into a smile and into a laugh, I think they're so much more receptive into learning more and understanding more about gardening. And that's one of the wonderful things about gardening is that there's anyone can do it because there are dead e easy entry points and there are exceptionally difficult pinnacles to achieve as well. And it is a hobby that can take you through your lifetime. You can go in at an easy point and end up a master if you've been working on it all your life. <laughs>